Hi, everybody, and welcome again to Z-Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big every time. It doesn't matter what sport you're betting on. We have everything for you right here. Before we get into some Major League Baseball action for June the 5th, I want to invite you to join so you will have access to the VIP Club section, which has all the tools to help you make your picks. So we are about a third of the way through the Major League Baseball season, and things are starting to heat up, and we will take a look at the games for... June the 5th, there's a full slate of games. We are going to take a look at six of them. Uh, so we'll scroll down here. The first one is the Detroit Tigers and the New York Yankees. Detroit heads into New York burning hot. They have won four out of their last six. While the Yankees are average up, you can see they are also 4-2 over their last six, but have lost two out of their last three. If you look at the over-under, you can see that the Yankees have been involved in games over the line in half of their last six games, and Detroit in three out of their last five. The power ranking indicator shows that the Yankees are at plus 18. They were as high as plus 29 not too long ago, but they have dipped because of that recent two out of three skid. And Detroit is at plus 16. The score predictor has Detroit by a 4 2 score, but the confidence in prediction is only 30%. So take a look at that as it gets closer to the game, see if that has changed at all. The pitchers have not yet been named for this matchup. If you look at the stability factor, how consistent are they performing with regards to their favorite underdog stash? You can see both teams are very consistent in that regard, with uh, Yankees at plus 15, Detroit at plus 13. The way I see this game playing out is the Yankees are just too strong at home. Even though Detroit is burning hot, the Yankees are going to win. They're playing at home. They will take the game. But I would think that this score would be under the line just based off of the recent trends. Arizona-Pittsburgh, we will not look at that one. Cleveland and Baltimore. And the next game we want to look at as we scroll down through the list of games is the Minnesota Twins and the Toronto Blue Jays. The two teams heading to play going in opposite directions. You can see that the Twins are ice cold down, losers of four out of their last six, while the Blue Jays are burning hot. They have won their last six games. And in those last six games, they have been in games over the line, so a lot of high scoring, uh, a lot of offense for the Blue Jays. Uh, as far as the Twins go over under, they have also been involved in a lot of high scoring games over the line four out of their last five. The Toller's predictor it doesn't really uh, look in that direction, though. Of course, it's only 50% level of confidence, but if this score holds, this would not be over the line four to three in favor of Minnesota, with a, again about 50% level of confidence. The power ranking indicator shows Toronto up here at the top at plus 29. Minnesota was at one, and they have. Improved from 1 up to 9, with they are at plus 9. So that's not really that great, but that is better than what it was. You can show that they're on the upward trend. Um, as far as the volatility oscillator, how consistent have the two teams been performing? Minnesota, very consistent at plus 15. Toronto, not as much at plus 6. You can see they were at plus 6 back at the beginning of May, and they were as high as... Eight, and now they're back down to six again, so they have not been very consistent, not very stable. Uh, the way I like this game, though, I think Toronto's just too good. I like Toronto at home, and I think they will win in this game going over the line. Chicago-Tampa Bay, we will not take a look at that one. San Francisco and Miami. Washington-Cincinnati. You can see it's a full slate of games. Houston and Kansas City, this is the next one we want to look at. The Royals enter the contest dead. Stas having lost their last four and five out of their last six, while the Astros are burning hot winners of four out in a row and four out of their last six. Framber Valdez is scheduled to pitch for Houston, and you can see it's Jonathan Heasley scheduled for Kansas City. Valdez is 5-2 and two with a 2.57 ERA, but he has not been a very good bet at minus $112 on the pitcher profit oscillator. You can see that Heasley is 0-2 with a 4.66 ERA, and he is also not a good bet at minus $300. If you look at the last three games, though, um, Valdez's team has been, let's see, uh, three wins, and for he's away the last game's three losses. So that's very important to look at as well. The power ranking indicator shows that Houston is plus 26, and Kansas City is down at plus 5, so a big discrepancy there. If you look at the score predictor, Houston by a 7-3 score with a good level of confidence of nearly 75%. If you look at the volatility, I'll start the consistency factor again. Very consistent, both teams were mainly on an upward trend at, at the highest point that they've been all season. Plus 18 for Houston and plus 15 for Kansas City. 
Houston will be, uh, I'm assuming, the line's not out yet, but I'm assuming Houston will be a road favorite, and I believe that they will take this game, and I like this to be, do I like it over-under? See, that's the thing. I am looking here at the trends. I didn't mention this already, but Kansas City over in five out of the last six, but Houston only over in two out of the last six. I think I would avoid the over-under in this game, but go with the Astros to win. Uh, San Diego and Milwaukee. The score prediction has San Diego here 5-1 to one with 64% level of confidence. San Diego comes in ice cold down, though, versus average down for the Brewers. The Padres have lost their last three, while the Brewers have lost their last two. Mike Clevenger is set to pitch for the Padres versus Eric Lauer for the Brewers. If you look at the pitching comparisons, Clevenger is 1-0 with a 3.21 ERA and a good bet at plus 59. Lauer is 5-1 and one with a 2.49 ERA, having a very good season, and is an excellent bet at plus 202. If you look at the over-under, you can see that Brewers have been involved in games over the line in four out of their last five, while the Padres have split over and under in their last six, three and three. Um, if you look at the power ranking indicator, you can see here that San Diego is at plus six right there. In Milwaukee, they were up at plus 23 back on May 31st, and they have dipped considerably just you know over that course of that one day down to plus eight. If you look at the stability factor, again, how consistent are the two teams? Pretty consistent, although you can see that both teams are lower than they had been. Um, Milwaukee was as high as plus 12, and now they are at plus 10, while San Diego was at plus 10, and now they are at plus 8. So they have not been as consistent lately with regard to their favorite underdog status. I do like the Brewers here at home, and I think this game will be a lower scoring game. Two very solid pitchers, so I like the Brewers in a game going under the line. Mariners and the Rangers, Braves, Rockies. We want to look here now at the Mets and the Dodgers. In this one here, the Mets come into play burning hot winners of their last six, and the Dodgers are averaged down. They are stumbling at the moment, coming off of three straight losses. The score prediction likes the Mets, thinking they will continue their hot trend in a 6-4 to four game with about 56% level of confidence. The pitchers have not yet been named for this matchup, We'll take a look at the power ranking indicator. You can see the Mets here on the upward trend from plus 10. Not a surprise with their hot streak there at plus 27. And the Dodgers dipped considerably just over the last, you know, day. 28 down to 15 because of their three-game losing streak. So no real big surprise there. If we look at the stability factor, the consistency, Dodgers at plus 3. 13. They were as high as plus 16, but because of their losses, being home fairs and losing, dropped that down to plus 13. The Mets are at plus 8, which is their highest level, as it looks like, all season. So they have been definitely more consistent as of late. How do I like this game? I do think the Dodgers will, will find a way to break out of their losing streak. The Mets have to lose sometime. A good opportunity for the Dodgers to break their skid. They will win at home, and I think this will be a high scoring game going over the line. The last game we want to look at is the Cardinals and the Cubs. In this NL Central battle, both teams are burning hot. Adam Wainwright is scheduled to pitch for the Cardinals versus Justin Steele for the Cubs. If you look at the pitching matchup, you can see here that Wainwright is 5-4 and four with a good 2.75 ERA, and he has been a relatively solid bet at plus $37 on the pitcher profit oscillator. Steele has struggled 1-5 and five with a 5.40 ERA. Uh, did win the last game, but overall, not a good bet at minus $142. The over-under shows that it's probably not a very good bet uh, proposition to bet the over-under because the teams have combined over in 6 and under in 5, so pretty uh, even as far as the over-under goes. Um, the score prediction has the Cardinals at 8-3. to three. Now, again, the line's not out there. That could be over, but we don't know yet. The line is not out there. Yet, uh, with confidence and prediction of 41%. If you look at the power ranking indicator, you can see that the both teams are heading upward. Cardinals are up at plus 22, while the Cubs are at plus 12 at the moment. Let's see if they have been performing consistently, which we always like to look at. And you can see here the Cubs, not at all. So what that means is take their favorite underdog stats and pretty much throw it out the window. You can't really go on that with this team. 
The Cardinals, on the other hand, have been pretty consistent at plus nine. So the way I like this one here is I think the Cardinals will take this one on the road. I think they're overall they're a better club. And I like the Cardinals, but I would pick the game going under the line. I think this will be more of a pitcher's battle. So there you have it. So those are all the games for June the 5th in Major League Baseball. Happy betting, and we will see you again next week.